What's up guys, this is my first tutorial using CSS and Dreamweaver CS4. I'm going to show you how to take your uh, Swift file for your website and center it. What we want to do is take this XHTML line of coding and remove it, and this is our document type. And most importantly what I found was that this XHTML uh, workaround will get our um, flash file centered. So let's paste that there and refresh this. The next thing we want to do is apply some CSS. And to do that, we're going to select our Swift file. And we're going to go to Insert, Layout Objects, Div Tag, and we'll call the class Flash, and the ID Flash1. Now the Flash file has a, a div tag associated with it. And what the div tag does is it identifies what you're applying the CSS to. Very important. And we're identifying it with the div class of Flash and the ID of Flash1. If I go down here to the CSS panel, I'm going to add a new CSS rule. And already we see the number uh, symbol with Flash1. And we know that we're going to be putting this on our, um, or applying this to our Flash file. So click OK. And now we have a style. It's Flash1. The next thing we want to do is add a property. And the first property we're going to do is add a margin. So let's add the property here. And we're going to find it right here margin and we want to put a zero and then a space and type auto enter the next thing we want to do is take our height which the height for mine is 1800 pixels and I'm gonna add another property height 1800 pixels and the next property we want is my width which is 1215 come down here to width 1215 enter now what's going to happen is I'm going to come back into the design view of uh, my flash file here and I should have a centered nice centered uh, website save changes sure and there you go I have a centered flash file which is my website click enter works perfectly. Now another thing that's important is to check your website under different uh, stresses as I call them. So let's go to display settings. I'm changing the resolution. Now the resolution looks pretty uh, uh, pretty bad here but what's going on is that I'm seeing it under different circumstances. You want to put this um, this file to uh, through a lot of testing I should say. Um, just in case somebody is viewing the website at different resolutions, you would want to know beforehand, before putting it live, to see that it's going to appear always in the center. And this is how you do it. You know, you could put, pick any random uh, resolution to see it in action. And it looks good. It's always centered. Now, if you want to go even further, we're going to cancel this out. And I'm going to open up, um, let's see, let's open up the Great Internet Explorer. I say great, meaning that uh, Internet Explorer 8 is coming out, and it's going to be a lot better. <laughs> um, let's open up the window here. Paste it. And there you have it. My website's still centered. So right there, we cross-browser and we cross-resolution tested uh, this workaround uh, using XHTML and CSS. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you did and you used this method, please leave a comment and tell me about your website. I would love to see uh, this workaround in action. I'll see you guys later.